Hi, this is Pooja and welcome to Food Without Borders. Today is kind of an impromptu video because I was making this already and I thought I should share this with you guys. This is like a cold remedy that I've been uh, using for a really long time and I've shared it with all my friends. It's also on my blog. Times are hard here because it's allergy season for one. So I have every year during allergy season, I have a little bit of a hay fever and it's flu season as well. And it doesn't help that we have the mother of all Corona. And so my hypochondriac self, which my friend likes to call me or likes to say that I have an active imagination makes me feel like I have Corona by the second. So I have helped soothe my symptoms with this. This is not supposed to heal you, but it really, really helps you with the symptoms. If you have cold symptoms, this really comforts you. It's a tea and I'm gonna show you how to put this together. So let's get started. All right, the first ingredient is some ginger. Now, this is just ginger root. So I'm going to roughly chop it so that it blends well in my little food processor here. Ginger, if you believe in um, holistic medicine or Ayurveda, is supposed to have anti-inflammatory properties, anti-inflammatory properties or antibacterial. And it also works great as a decongestant because it's kind of spicy so it helps, you know, clear up your sinuses and if you have a cold that is one of the challenges your sinuses are plugged up you feel miserable you have those sinus headaches so this should actually help you reduce your symptoms and I'm going in with skin and all it doesn't really matter just wash your ginger so that there's no dirt in it that is important because you don't want to get sick with the dirt <laughs> that's the last thing you want to do all right so ginger goes in now I am going to add some turmeric or turmeric whichever part of the world you are from suit yourself and I am actually eyeballing this particularly because I have made it so many times but for the written version of the recipe and what these ingredients can do for you I cover that in great detail on my blog and I will leave a link to it in the description box so you can get the measurements from there as well Turmeric again is an antibacterial, so that's great because if you have some bacterial infection going on, it may help, but it would be slower. Nothing beats Western medicine. I am a, I shouldn't call myself a pill popper because that could be taken in the wrong way. But hey man, my pain threshold is really low. And if I have aches, I'm just gonna pop a pill and feel happy about it, okay? And get better. Not happy. Pill popping and happiness does not go along really well. Reduce my symptoms. So I am going to add some clove, but I'm not gonna go really crazy with the clove because the clove is really, really strong and I don't want that flavor to be very overpowering I still want the ginger to be the overpowering flavor because it's more soothing all right next ingredient is some pepper now for those of you who have something like acid reflux or GERD which is gastroesophageal acid reflux disease I would recommend not using pepper because pepper can be an irritant so if your stomach is irritated then you know you will have a sore throat because the acid is coming up and it's irritating your esophagus so skip the pepper for those of you who would like to add the pepper consider this like you know when you are feeling poorly and you have a spicy warm soup what does it do it completely clears your sinuses um, and this is what the pepper is supposed to do it works as a great decongestant so add some pepper i'm going to skip it because i don't want my acid reflux to flare up next ingredient is some honey now with honey if you are a vegan then you can find yourself an alternative to honey I just feel like honey soothes my throat when I'm having this tea because there's a lot of spiciness going on in this um, little concoction and I would like something to counteract all that spiciness and honey seems to work great and honey is supposed to be an anti-inflammatory so that works and you don't have to add the honey now i just like to make this all together and stick it in the fridge what you can do is you can add honey when you make the tea so you can just drizzle a little honey while making your tea and that should work as well with all this i am also going to add a little a smidge of water 
that is only because I want this to blend into a nice paste. I am going to blend this all together and then I am going to show you how to put the tea together and then we'll sip it and that would be it. I'll be back. All right guys, this is what the texture looks like. Now it is a little fibrous and it would be because ginger has a lot of fiber running through it and you cannot emulsify the whole thing. Now there are two ways that you can have it. One would be just putting a teaspoon of this in your hot water and just drinking it like that. I don't like the fibers coming in my mouth because I'm a person who does not enjoy a lot of textures. So I will show you how I have it and it's like a form of a tea. I'm going to go grab my uh, kettle that has been heating water and if you can hear it, it is bubbling. Let's talk strainers. Now, my favorite is this kind that just sits in your cup. This is another one, if you can see, I have used this a lot and this is designated exclusively for this particular tea that is why it's so yellow and then you have this from ikea which my husband prefers to use so you can use whichever options you like and i'll try finding these um, and putting the link in the description box if you're looking for them now if you guys have any home remedies that you guys love could you leave me a comment below because i really want to know how do you treat your cold symptoms and what kind of home remedies you guys have I am going to just take roughly a teaspoonful, put it in here, just running some hot water through the tea. That's it. Let it seep for about two minutes. Ah, uh, that gives me life. And I've shared it with a lot of my friends and family members who have fought cold in the past and they love it too and they have this as their essential during flu season i really hope you will fight this cold or whatever you're going through and if you are sick with corona i am so sorry it's a huge hug from me to you leave me a comment of how you are keeping yourself busy at this time i think i'm going to focus on putting a lot of more content on this channel because that's the best way I can utilize my uh, time and this makes me happy. Hit subscribe if you haven't and hit that like button. Share this with your family and friends and I cannot tell you, this will help you with your symptoms. It may not cure it, but hey, I don't know. We are all suffering, may as well reduce our suffering, right? So hope you guys take care and I will see you next time. Until then, bye.